Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my July 2020 update video, part two, coming up. Alright, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome once again to my July 2020 update video, part two. So yeah, as we always do with these monthly update videos, I'm going to go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So, as always, let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is, well, YouTube stuff. So, as you guys may know, I've kind of been a little inactive on some channels and a little more active on others. And the reason behind this is mostly due to uh, some creative burnout on certain channels, as well as a ramping up of my school schedule. So, this time, we're getting closer and closer to finals. Uh, time's recording about three weeks away from finals for the semester. So I've been focusing more of my efforts on uh, getting final, final projects done, as well as studying for, well, finals. So let's go over things channel by channel. So uh, as far as uh, this channel, the Andy Son, um, I think it's going pretty well. You know, I've met my goal for uh, having at least one video a month on this channel. It's basically just serving as like an archive and just kind of a, a snapshot into my life, at least one video a month. I uh, just kind of let you know like where I'm at in life as well as to give you updates on uh, other channels and stuff like that as well. As far as my Edit by the Andesan channel, um, as always, I do have uh, some tutorials and stuff as far as topics and things like that goes. I have them kind of prepped up, but again, due to the ramping up of the school schedule and other commitments, it's kind of hard to, to fit those in, but uh, it's kind of a when it comes sort of thing anyway. And plus I do have some, uh, some other plans for that channel as well, because I think that um, and this kind of goes more into the uh, creative burnout that I've overall been feeling with uh, certain types of content that I've been putting out that we're going to be getting into here a little bit. Um, but I feel like with the Edit by the Indesign channel, like it's uh, it's definitely been a good thing. You know, a lot of my tutorials have really hit it off with the algorithm. You guys seem to like them. And, uh, you know, they're earning me the lion's share of my income on YouTube. So for me, it's like, why we're doing a good thing, right? You know, if, if, I'm, if I'm a radio station, you know, got to play the hits, right? <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I feel like they're kind of running their course as far as that just being the only thing on the channel. So I do want to experiment with other types of content that are still relative to video editing and content creation in general. So it's not going to go totally off the uh, off the deep end, but uh, I do want to offer some different types of videos as well. So I was thinking maybe going a bit more in depth with uh, the creative process, you know, going and talking about different aspects of it, maybe talking about uh, what cameras you should get, you know, things like that. But I also still want to do tutorials, but I figure having more of a variety of content that's still within the same niche of, you know, video making would uh, benefit that channel the most. So be on the lookout for that whenever. <laughs> whenever the semester is over, probably. So as far as my main channel that I'm focusing on right now, I hate to call it my main channel, even though this is technically my main channel, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, the channel I'm putting the most effort into the Andy Japani channel. Um, as you guys know, I really haven't been making a whole lot of stuff for that channel as of late. I've still been trying to, to put out stuff at least once a week, but I don't know, man, just creatively, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. And plus with a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that we're gonna get into here in a bit, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just not the same. You know, it's just, you know, we've kind of hit a wall creatively speaking, as far as that goes. But um, I do have a pull up on that channel to determine what the next Andy Japani video will be about. Uh, originally I put up a poll last week to uh, determine the next topic, but it ended up in a tie. So I decided to repost the poll with just the, uh, the two options that tied. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and determine clear cut winner and uh, we'll make that the next topic. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just been really hard to uh, to think of some some new ideas and stuff like that. So it's really good to to get you guys' uh, take on what you want to see from uh, your boy, the Andy Sand Sam Adeshta here. So just leaving it up to you guys for the time being, and uh, hopefully 
be able to get back into the swing of things as far as making that quality Japan content very soon as uh, things unfold. So now let's talk about some positive news as far as YouTube things go before we move on to the personal life section. Uh, my newest channel, the Creator 101 podcast, where I go one-on-one -on -one with creators like you. I've really been wanting to do a podcast for the longest time and I finally decided to take the plunge and uh, do it. So I've created a channel called the Creator 101 podcast where it's designed to not only talk about creator issues, but also to interview fellow creators and to get some idea behind their uh, the process, creative process, as well as give them more of like an origin story, like how did they come across on the platform? What was their like breakthrough moment? Uh, if they have any advice to give to up and coming YouTubers or YouTubers struggling with certain aspects of the creative process. Um, I also want to get people from other creative platforms as well. So I don't want to just limit it to YouTube. I also want to get people who are, you know, on like uh, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. But uh, obviously, since my wheelhouse is YouTube, that's going to be the, uh, the main source of, uh, of creators is on there. But I do want to have creators from other platforms to kind of give a broader perspective on uh, just making that quality content, no matter where you're at. So be on the lookout for more episodes of that soon. In the meantime, uh, I plan on making little clips of the main podcast episodes um, and then just putting them on the same channel. And, you know, if it gets big enough or something like that, it might spin it off to its own clips channel. But for now, just best to keep it all in uh, one little section. So really proud of how the first episode turned out, where it was just uh, an interview with myself. <laughs> so it's kind of a little, little self-indulgent, but uh, I figure since the podcast is just starting, uh, I got to go with a guest that I know will have no trouble getting on, me. So there you go. Hope you guys uh, tune in the episode and uh, let me know what y'all think. So. Now that we've gone over the uh, the YouTube stuff, let's go over some personal life stuff. Now, this is the thing I've been struggling with a lot for the past few weeks, and it's just been it's just been a real nightmare, man. I'm not gonna lie, you know, like uh, with the whole uh, London Chan World Tour situation going on in Japan, putting out a travel ban. Uh, it's just been very very difficult determining uh, where I'm going to go next after I graduate from uh, from Lakeland University of Japan, where I'm going to school at now. So I've just been um, just busy talking with uh, so many um, staff members out of Lakeland, talking with some other people as well to kind of figure out like what's the next move, right? Because you know, for me, I want to stay in Japan, and uh, you know, it's. Uh, kind of a weird thing, you know, because there there is a, uh, a program that's going to be coming up with Lakeland to allow me to stay. It's uh, They're starting up a new four-year program. It hasn't been officially released yet, although there is some uh, little blurbs about it on the website, so I feel like I can talk about it at least. Um, but there is going to be a four-year program offered at Lakeland. And the plan is to transition over to that program once I graduate from the uh, the two-year associates program and uh, just continue my education from there. But uh, we don't know if everything's gonna get approved in time. So I'm just really worried that I'll have to uh, leave the country. And if that's the case, um, my chances of going back to Japan are really, really slim because um, with America, even if I would be there for just a few months, uh, to cover a semester or whatever. Um, there's a lot of expenses involved with, with living in America, even just temporarily. Because with apartments, the, the shortest lease I could find out there would be like six months. And of those apartments, they're usually really expensive. And plus I gotta think about getting a car, <laughs> worry about getting uh, some furniture, at least a bed, and um, just all this stuff. Not to mention the plane ticket home you know, to my new home, that's going to be, you know, upwards of a thousand dollars. So we're looking at like 1200, 1400, then burger bucks. And that's like almost all my savings just right there, just getting home. 
and you know all the deposit and all this that and the other it's like all this money that I saved up is uh, gonna be burnt through pretty quickly just getting myself back to America so um, ideally I would like to stay here in Japan and uh, continue on through uh, Lakeland's new program but uh, the way things are going it's uh, it's very touch and go right now so at the time's recording uh, Lakeland's already submitted all their paperwork so it's nothing nothing on Lakeland's end that is uh, holding up the process it's just on the, uh, the administrative side in uh, in Japan so like uh, the Ministry of Education Ministry of Justice so uh, basically they're going through those channels they're waiting for um, in this case the Ministry of Education to approve Lakeland as a school that offers four-year degrees instead of just the two-year degrees and then uh, the Ministry of Justice to be able to issue visas for uh, those appropriate time periods so right now I'm just uh, just in limbo you know <laughs> And uh, it's a really shitty situation to be in, not gonna lie. And I've just been really, really stressed out over it. It's uh, it's really, really affected my mental health and just trying to figure out like what's what's the next plan, you know? Whether I have to go back to America, go to school for, uh, for a semester, and then come back, come back in the spring, if I even can, because I don't know if the, the Japan travel bans from America will be lifted by then. Uh, see, that's that's another thing, like, um, everything could be done right on the Lakeland side of things and on my side of things, but if I go back to America, it's, you know, pretty much going to be game over for me. You know, there's going to be no chance of me being able to come back for uh, the foreseeable future. Uh, so, it's uh, it's been really stressful, not going to lie, and that's uh, one of the main reasons why it's been hard to make anti Japandi content, because... It's like, you know, you don't really know what the future is going to be. You know, I don't know what the future is going to be for me uh, in this country moving forward. So do I really want to, you know, make more content about Japan knowing that I might be gone in like two to three weeks? Build up a channel and build up you guys' expectations for that channel. You know, it's obviously, you know, it'd be nice to like make some memories and stuff you know, for me to look back on and everything, but, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, it's, it's really sad. It's, you know, it's like, uh, letting someone go in some ways, but there's still always that hope of, you know, maybe it'll all get approved. I mean, heck, it, the whole thing could get approved today and this whole video would, uh, <laughs> be completely obsolete and I'll make a video saying, hey, you know, everything's all good. But right now, as I'm recording this, time's recording um we just don't know nobody really has any of the answers right now but uh if uh the ministry of justice and the ministry of education approve of lakeland's new program uh before i graduate in uh, mid-august so they still have about two to three weeks left to approve of it then everything will be totally good you know i'll get um my visa modified and be able to still stay at this guest house and uh, carry on with, smartly with my life because you know with here like I'm already set you know as far as living arrangements and all this other stuff which was the main expense when I first got to Japan because you know it was a plane ticket coming over here but mostly it was just uh, living expenses until the GI Bill kicked in and there was a lot of you know living arrangements that I knew I wasn't going to be there for very long so I didn't invest in a lot of longer term stuff like a bicycle or like a slow cooker or any other bigger appliances and things like that to really make myself feel at home. I always felt like, you know, any minute I could get snatched up and uh, have to go back to America for whatever reason. So I always felt like I was just temporarily living here, which I know, like if you look at it long term, yeah, you know, I'm only here on a student visa, I get it, but uh, you know, I came back to Japan to uh, to stay in Japan, so whether going through like a student program and then eventually transitioning over to getting a work visa, you know, my mind's pretty well made up that I want to stay here long term. Unless, um, like I said before in other videos, like the only reasons I would even consider moving back to America is, well for one, I didn't predict this particular Kelowna Chan World Tour situation to affect things. so. 
Um, one would be if I was forced to because of visa issues. Uh, another would be if I was like completely broke and uh, had to go back. Uh, another one would be if uh, a close family member was uh, on their deathbed, basically. So, and even in that case, like I would only be there until uh, things resolve themselves and then I would move back to Japan. And then four would be uh, if I got like a really good job offer back in the States that I just could not refuse. Um, either like LA or New York or something like that. Um, so if I got something like that, you know, I would consider moving back to America. But uh, otherwise, like, I'm pretty comfortable out here. I'm already pretty well settled in this guest house. And, you know, once we get things moving, we can, you know, move to uh, the next phase, which would be getting myself an apartment. But right now, I just don't feel uh, comfortable getting myself an apartment. I mean, even if Lakeland does get approved for the four-year program, I don't really feel comfortable getting myself an apartment until at least I have a work visa. So that way, you know, I can really put some money behind it and don't have to worry about uh, these sorts of issues. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'm just a, a ball of nerves, basically, just waiting for a uh, for response and hopefully Hopefully Lakeland does get approved for uh, that four-year program so that way I can continue to stay here and uh, go to school. You know, get the four-year degree and uh, then get a work visa to, uh, to stay out here. But uh, for now, I'm just kind of in this strange limbo and it's very anxiety-inducing, very depressing, stuff like that. So I hate to end things on a, on a down note, but uh, it just kind of is what it is right now. So anyway... With all that said, I uh, just want to thank you guys for all the support you've given me in the comments, uh, on the Discord, and uh, elsewhere on the, uh, the internet. So, with all that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now, as always, and forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.